ladies and gentlemen, Maria Bell, come on! Oscar nominated. I'm so grateful. Every time I see you, we look at each other and we go, Do you remember us way back when? How lucky are we? That's you're right. Like... In more than 20 years ago. <laughs> more than 20 years ago. <laughs> when I... you were six. Yeah, and you were eight. And I was 18. <laughs> Um, we used to hang around together in the village of the uh, early Poe days, and even when I worked at Rocco. That's right. And you were the most delightful bartender and the most beautiful woman then, and you still are. Oh, that's very kind. I remember, I remember us drinking quite a few tequilas together, but one of the loveliest things you ever did, my folks came to town for their anniversary, and my mom's in the audience actually today, and you made them dinner, and um, you bought them dinner and made them a beautiful dinner. And I really appreciate it, and they'll never forget it. Aww. Ladies and gentlemen, Kathy's over here in the audience. Can we take a look? There you go. Hey, Kathy. Hi, Mom. So because Kathy's here, we won't get into any embarrassing stories, will we? <laughs> oh, don't tell. Okay. So now your mom and your family, you cook together. Your mom's a great cook. Uh, incredible. She has her own uh, cookbook, uh, Aunt Kath's Kitchen, Cooking with Passion and Love for Family and Friends. I have one of her aprons. It's yep. a pretty it's sexy true. thing. And our the, the history of our story is it's all about bringing people around the table to share our love, our wisdom, our pain, our joy, whatever it is. So our whole this is our house. Perfect. We're well, now she didn't have it. She didn't. I know she made hamburgers, yeah. but she didn't have a hamburger recipe that was so significant in her life. So we hijacked her famous meatloaf recipe, and we're making it into meatloaf hamburgers. Does that sound savvy? I heard this, and I'm so excited to try this. All right. So we have, as your mom does it, she chopped up kel uh, carrots. I'm sorry, celery, celery and onions. onions. Got and it. That's it. Yeah. And we chopped it up in the food processor. Yeah. And we pulled it until is it fine enough or really fine? Uh, really fine. Okay. Really fine. All right. Then we're going to mix it with ground beef. Yes, You're we going are. to do that part. <laughs> okay. We're going to add a Simon sized pinch okay. of salt. What's a Two. Simon size? It's big. <laughs> uh, Chef Simon is famous for his meat cookery and more significantly for properly seasoning it. And what, what happens is often enough a TV camera light makes it look like it's a big snowstorm and it's just about the right amount. Now, in your mom's okay. recipe, there is. The world famous cream of mushroom soup. Cream of mushroom soup. soup. You wow. can't go wrong you with You cannot go wrong. Love this. All right. Egg. <laughs> and then an egg. Yeah. And then some breadcrumbs. Bread All right. Breadcrumbs. So you want to mix that up? Yes, I do. Where's the fork? Now, I know that your mom used to serve this with crescent rolls, correct? Yes, she did. She so served it with crescent rolls on top of the meatloaf after the ketchup. Get oh, it? so baked on top? Oh. Yeah. So oh, how cool do the was meat that? Rolls and then put the ketchup on top and then the crescent rolls on top of Well, it. we thought that was kind of cool, but I decided that we were going to make buns out of the crescent roll thing, right? So you pop it open like that, you unroll it like this, delicately, and it forms into just a flat sheet, right? Yeah. And we're going to go like this, and we're going to go like this. What? Wow, look at you. That's right, inside the twisted ex-Iron Chef mind, <laughs> there still lurks a creative freak in here making stuff. So you fold it over like that, fold it over like that, and then just put it right on like that. Uh, so we're going to uh, bake these to be like crescent roll outers. Oh my God. What? Which is kind of cool, That's right? So cool. We're the crescent roll king of the village. Mom, are you Nelly. seeing this? <laughs> and then we're going to get our hands dirty. No, 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 wait. I just wanted to say one thing. Okay. In a kitchen, like my mom's, you never mix with that. You have to mix it oh, with good. your hands. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it does not work with a spoon, and that you don't put your love in it if you do this. Oh, so now you just that finished is. this movie, Prisoners, right? I did. Oh, it opens on Friday. It's I tried to watch it last night. And you're a big fat baby. And I am a I am a major baby when it comes down. It is tense. It is frightening. I must say, I'm the kind of guy. I don't really love scary movies. I don't even really like the scary parts of sitcoms. <laughs> so it had me. I left the room several times during exactly. several of the scenes. It's definitely but I must a Hollywood say, thriller. It is riveting. It is intense. Yeah. It is mind blowing. And I'm. I smell Academy Award. This is my jam. <laughs> So we'll get these on the griddle. You're We're gonna throw a little bit more salt on the outside. We put them on the griddle for me. I prefer the griddle to the grill. Right. When we come back, I'll toss these croissant, croissant bun things in the oven. When we come back, we'll put it all together, and we're gonna finish up Maria's meatloaf. Feel like your grocery receipts keep growing longer and longer? Oh we're putting money back in your pockets every week with our Extra Value Friday. And that's here. Every single Friday on the tube.
daddy. You gorgeous thing. Show me what you got. You cheesy thing. Cheeseburger. Oh. Welcome back to the chill. We're finishing up our meatloaf. Burgers. We have our crescent roll buns, right? It's a pretty cool idea, yeah, right? Very cool. Stolen from your mom. Now, let's see exactly what you do to your burger. How many things do you put on a perfect burger? You know, I, I like regular. Regular? I like regular, like my cheesesteaks. I like a little of ketchup little and catch? a little pickle. That's it. A little pickle, a little ketchup? So a, a purist, a simplest. But not right in the middle, yes. <laughs> so not yes, quite that right simple. Yes, spread a remarkable actress is, of course, very complicated. Uh, kind of big immediately during the production of this movie. Was there someone that had some unusual or huge eating habits that you might like to tell well, me? Well, I, you know, I cook a lot when I'm on set, for friends, so my whole cast would come over to my little apartment and we would make chicken or my mom's pasta and da da da. But Hugh was on this crazy diet where you only eat like eight eight hours a day. Hugh Jackman? Yeah, Hugh Jackman. The Wolverine? The Wolverine. <laughs> a dirty dancing on the chew fame? Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that that one who is true is the nicest man oh, ever right. Had, right? Everybody knows that's the truth. But he was on this crazy diet. You can eat whatever you want for eight hours a day. But he was like ate like Fred Flintstone. They would come in with plates this big of like steaks and chicken. It was it was crazy. He was what do you mean eight hours a day? Eight hours and then no no and eating then for no. sixteen. And then you don't eat for sixteen. Ooh, that's a crazy was, giant. I don't know what, what we do on this show. <laughs> <laughs> Except we don't stop after eight hours, I'm unfortunately. Wow, and then Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal, oh, wow. another good friend. Amazing, oh. amazing. Good eater, happy to work with. Oh, he's on another one. Oh my God. Hired for a role. We have to do these things. Oh, yeah. Sorry to interrupt, but we're freaking out. Is hungry. it great? Yeah, I would right. good. Sofa, and if Take I a big bite. Take a big bite. Maybe I'll be doing the craft corner. <laughs> That's a big foodie set, though. I mean, all you guys look good. It's delicious. Now, I know your mom's here. Mom! Mom! Here. Mom, you're gonna taste this. You're on fire. We'll bring her one. Sure. Let me ask you this. If I were to ask your mom about you and your childhood behavior, yeah. would she say you were a model daughter or a rebellious tough one? It's delicious. The only way I was rebellious, Mom. <laughs> uh, mom, can, can she halfway she's, answer this? She's making out with Michael no. Simon right now. <laughs> <laughs> There's something I used to do every night after dinner, when the dishes were about to be done. What would I do, Mom? Um, I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and she would not come back for 45 minutes. <laughs> when she came back, the dishes were done. Oh, it was a strategy. It was a strategy. I thought she was leading us down the path that you were vomiting. You weren't vomiting at all. All right, so we play a great game here called Celebrity Egg Timer, where we ask you a series of rapid-fire questions. Oh. You have to answer as many as you can. Are you game? Okay. I'll try. All right, so I'll start, or Clinton, you want to start? I can start. Clinton will start. Ready? Let's put 60 seconds on the clock. Go! Right, who was your first kiss? Uh, Blaze Santangelo. Blaze Santangelo. Your go-to karaoke song. I will survive. And I have. <laughs> and you have, too, apparently. Who was the best on-screen kiss? Uh, I would have to say William H. Macy. Oh, my God, I love him, too. That's so cute. Other than meatloaf, what's uh, the favorite dish your mom made growing up? Meatballs. Mm. The famous meatballs. Good. Who's your favorite chef of all time? Uh, my mother. And Mario Vitale. <laughs> <laughs> what is your biggest guilty pleasure? I don't believe in guilty pleasures. I only have pleasures. Oh, yay! Yeah. <laughs> First family vacation. Uh, let's just say Florida, Walt Disney World, car accident, oh. Holiday Inn. Nice. <laughs> no one hurt, but there you go. <laughs> oh, best pickup line you witnessed as a bartender? Um, the only pickup line. Can I buy you a drink? That's it. It works. That's it. Works. <laughs> Uh, biggest celebrity you've ever cooked for? Um, the biggest celebrity, uh, Michael Cass. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Chef Curtis Stone. You have to check your pride out the door when you come on this show. Exactly. Oh, I did. I did. Yeah. <laughs> Actress Debbie Mazer and former football star and bachelor Jesse Palmer. It's a can't miss week of the chew.